Hello everybody and welcome to my 101st VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to create add-ins. Now an add-in in Excel generally just gives you kind of a group of extra kind of functions or a bit of functionality that you can add into your workbook uh, and then use kind of continuously. So it's quite a good way if you know how to make them to distribute different functions that you want to make uh, without people actually having to understand how uh, your code works or anything like that. Um, so uh, if you click on this add-ins in the developer tab or if you're on 2003 you go to tools and, and then add-ins um, and it's going to give you a list of add-ins in here um, and these are just my standard ones that I've got um, a lot of people use the analysis tool pack um, and if you tick on these then you can just use various functions in those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own uh, and I'm going to use the uh, the code that I used in the last tutorial. So I've got this reverse function. Basically I want this reverse to be um, an add-in. Uh, so people can just tick on that add-in and then they can start using this reverse function. What you probably do is you'd actually have various functions. You probably have kind of group of about 10 or 11 or 12. Um, and you kind of distribute them to people and say, hey, have a look at my beautiful functions. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is, uh, it's very simple. Just go to File, Save As. Uh, and then in your drop down down here, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get you to see what's in the drop down. There we go. So you click on this drop down that says Excel macro enabled workbook. Just go to Excel add in. Uh, and then by default, it's going to try and save it in my Excel add ins folder. Uh, I don't want to put it in there because I want you guys to be able to access it. So I'm just going to put it in my examples folder. Uh, and I'm just going to name it to reverse add-in. Uh, and then press save. Um, press OK. And now it's going to have created my add-in. So when I go on my add-ins, it's not going to have it in here instantly. Although I would have done if I'd have done it in their default uh, choice. But what I'm going to do is just go on to browse. Uh, and I'm just going to find myself my add-in. So here we are, reverse add-in. Press OK. And then I've got it in here and it's ticked. Uh, and press OK. So now when I go into a uh, new workbook, uh, say so file, new, blank workbook, uh, it's got no, um, it's got no kind of code in it. If we go into the Visual Basic Editor uh, and look at my tutorial, uh, uh, then there's nothing in here. Uh, what am I looking for? Book one, objects. There's nothing in any of these these modules. Um, but what I can still do is I can still go into my add-ins, make sure my reverse add-in is ticked, uh, and then I can just use my reverse function. So it equals reverse. Uh, and if I have something in here, and it's going to reverse it for me. Uh, so that is how you create an add-in. It's very, very simple. Um, you can make them a bit more secure. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, pre-compile your, uh, your, your um, add-ins and also password protect them. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.